Because it exposes some of these wicked people that's calling themselves Israelites. It's, ex it's going to expose some of these elders that's causing the division and the hatred. That's right. It's going to expose all these things that uh, Israel run from. Brothers that was calling themselves elders out here on these street corners. These brothers that want to be Moses, but they just wicked men out here on these corners. Bring it out. That's why you see the division, of the, the hatred. Israel don't love nobody but they self. That's right. That's right. That's right. Spiritual man and woman been gone for generations. That's right. right we still learning. We ain't got it all. You know, you got people's hollering. They got 100% of the truth still teaching Christianity. Bring it up. <laughs> Many people not like this class because of a title. Bring it up. And none of them ever taught it to prove it. Bring it up. Now. He was not Esau, Jacob's brother. He was Jacob's brother. He was Jacob's brother. And I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, who the white man who is not this class? Who is not Esau? The class is titled. Bring it out. It's not about the so-called white man. Bring it out. That's for another day. We have to bring out who this, who is Esau? Because I only see the people that's got hatred around her. It's the so-called black people. Bring it up. You see so much hatred from our people. That's right. That you can't even find them out. Who do you mostly get it toward with? Bring it out. Bring it out. You look like you. Because we think everybody in these neighborhoods are, are Israelites. Bring it out. We said we came in the truth. We weren't unified in line, but you see these Israelite camps, they still teaching lies. Bring it up. They'll go crazy with the miracles. The miracles are prophecies. Christ was not doing Houdini magic. Bring it out. Generation over generation over generation. That's why you see us so bugged out. That's why you see so many people into so many different things. We can't even come together in one thing, man. Mm. We can't even be a one house. Because it's too many different spirits. Israelites teaching us this, and some of them might be Edomites. Bring it up. Some of you elders might be an Edomite. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. That's what the Lord is trying to do for the nation of Israel, and they don't want it. They want to continue in those thoughts of hatred, division, man, separation, anything negative, 20 wives, anything that's against the power, man. These cats around here with fringes on ain't doing no research, man. They just regurgitated Israelites. Bring it up. Everybody, they teaching the same thing. That's right. That's all. That's right. See, a lot of these Israelites ain't gonna be able to take this man because they they can't go to the corner now. Oh, I can't go teach ain't no more. Oh, I'm yeah. done, man. Yeah. Right. Because if you see a face, that means that 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 person is not in control. You think it biting in control of something, man? Right. Yeah. Biting is a pedophile. Did you know he? Yeah, that's right. Bring it out. Bring it. You eat it. Just like on your money. These are these are black peoples. Benjamin Franklin was a black man. Right. I'm coming with it. <laughs> they have bodyguards now. <laughs> Five of the Edomites that can't make it are the Amaleks. Them are the ones really and truly in control of this planet, but they behind the scene. They called the black nobles. Yeah, I know yeah. who they are. I've been digging for. Them. I got you. You got it? Red color. Of a what? Of a red color. Of a what? Of, of a, a red, red color. color. Read. Of a lively flesh color. Or the color of the human skin in high health. Five and ten. Because we just take things so. If Esau read, then King David read, ain't he? Bring it out. There was only three peoples. Out of nowhere, that came across the ship that repopulated the planet. The planet. That's right. So they could be coming from any of these different tribes, but that's another class, another day. But read. As the first came out red. This red 
This red is what they go by. They whole doctrine is this one word right here in the Bible. Yeah. Teach. Bring this that. one word, but they haven't gave me a precept of, to match it up. Bring it up. This one word, teach, that they run around here with hatred in their system for people that just were set up. Bring it up. And they say, that's his, his hair. I see more black people's hair as hell too, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. Teach. Bring it out. <laughs> And a white eat a mighty in there, a dark skin eat a mighty. However, you want to play the game. <laughs> we don't. And upon which never came yoke. Good came yoke. Give me a red heifer. Let me take my glasses out. Bring it out. Is that a red heifer? Take Bring it out. out. Bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> ain't, ain't, now mm -mm -mm. We, we, got, we got a problem, though. Mm -mm -mm. Because that look like us, don't it? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. I want to give all the praises. Bring it out. Any honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Bahashem Recha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. A sincere salute and honors to you, other brethren, your fellow followers of the truth, supporters of the truth, even your few sisters as well who support the truth and also shalom to the elect the hopeful elect shalom so anyway this video is going into these um bring it out guys bring it out israelites i guess that's the way, best way to call them there's their screen channel is one body in yahweh which we say not in yahweh the title of that video is esau is not the so-called white man esau is your tares pretending to be israelites so i looked at that and i was like wow now, in their podcast, it says Esau is not the so-called white man. Esau is your tares pretending to be Israelites. So this is weird. I, I mean, it's a two-hour. Took a little time to prepare for this video, but it's a two-hour, 14-second video. This is weird. This guy is saying the rulers of the world are all black men now. I mean, the Amalekites, are, he showed the Pope bowing down to some black men. Uh, what can you say? You know, Pope. The Pope is also controlled. So, what can you say? He, you know, he says that Yahweh Shad never worked miracles. So Yahweh sent a son. His son down here is an ordinary man, just like everybody else, to do what he could. What he sent his other prophets to do. So, what would be the reason of him sending his son? If they were just going to be, he was just going to be an ordinary man for the time of, of dying for the Israelites. Now, this is proven that that would have had to happen because that's why they called him the devil, right? Because of the miracles and because of what he was doing. And they called him the devil. So it was a trick bag because they figured, you know, it was, it was a lot of those Pharisees was about the law. In the law, it, it speaks of not doing certain things on the Sabbath day. So when Yahweh healed the man, the blind man, and did certain things, they had an issue with it. But these guys, you know, they always talk about hate and division and hate and not liking one another, bringing division in Israel. But do you see what these guys do? They sit here and they talk trash. They're too cowardly to say, yeah, there's those great millstone guys that say they got the 100% truth. Yes, we say... 100% truth according to doctrine. But we will call you guys out one body in Yahweh See, you guys play just like Fopi. <clears throat> those those guys that are trash talkers, they won't say who they're talking about. They'll call us all kinds of names. They'll throw it out there. And then they'll take the back seat and say, see, these people are talking trash. They're causing division. They hate their brothers. But all we've ever done is corrected you guys. Or at least try. So anyway, and that's what I'm going in this video now to correct you guys on this topic with Ruddy. This guy had must have took the bag, man. I can't prove it, you know. But this guy had to take the bag. This man now says Esau can make it. I mean, you see, it gets worse and worse and worse from when he was, you know, debating vocab. Now you look at this guy. Now he says, don't even worry about Esau. 
Don't worry about your enemy. He also says in this video, we complain. Right? Now, there's a, li there's a limit of truth to that. You know, you don't want to be a moper and always complaining that you ain't got a job and you can't work. You know, you can't do something at least partially successful. You know? But the bottom line is we're going to complain because this is not our rest. Everything you see around us is something to complain about. Everything you see around us is continued wickedness. And then how would the Lord come to deliver us out of a situation if we don't cry out to him? We've always cried out to the Lord under captivity. But these guys ain't saying that. You know? It gets weirder and weirder with these, these guys and their doctrine. So now they've retracted on the ruddy thing. They, they just pulled up a, a definition of ruddy and that was it. But I'll show you something. Let's go to Song of Solomon 1 and 5. It said, let me go to the translations. I'm going to read the first four. It says, my beloved is radiant and ruddy, outstanding among 10,000. 10, the New Living Translation says, my lover is dark and dazzling, better than 10,000 others. The other one says, my beloved is radiant and ruddy. But I'm going to get to this one. Uh, my beloved is dazzling and ruddy. My beloved is white and ruddy. So wait a minute. We have a confliction here. Something's confused, confusing. There's a discrepancy, right? Because right here in the New Living Translation, it says, my lover is dark and dazzling, which this is all going into being beautiful because, you know, you would have had men like King David and the Judites. They wouldn't have been white anyway so it was never that's why when it says I am dark and beautiful and this and that it was all about the complexion being a specific type of texture I mean a complexion or look a glow that's what it was all about that's why when you um when it goes in Revelation 1 and 14 and it says his hair is he's like uh, his feet like fine brass as it burnt in the furnace it would have been unusual I mean, it wasn't unusual for all the Israelites to be so-called black or different shades of color. And that's why that was brought out. It wasn't no battle because uh, people were saying the one you call Yahweh Shah was white. That's only now. So right here, you see these scholars doing a universalism. I did a video on that. Like the word gentium or gentilis or gentile how they place those words in the Bible to universalize the, the uh, Bible. Now, you also know that every time you go through a translation, it waters down, right? That's why you get 1, 1A, one B, C, 2A, B, C, D, right? So you see here, it says, my lover is dark and dazzling in the New Living Translation. But the King James, it says, my beloved is white and ruddy, Right? Which white actually means pure. That's all that's saying. And ruddy just means beautiful. But you see how I can get mixed up because one translation says dark and dazzling and the other one says white and ruddy. So you got to go into the context and then when you go into the blue letter it'll say H132 I believe, red. See what the scholars do? But for whatever reason Genesis 25 and 25 it never said Esau came out ruddy, did it? It was wasted. He was wasted away. Uh, um, being able to see through the complexion. But let me get another scripture. I'm going to come back to this and uh, prove this as well. Let's go to um, Titus. Um, let me go. Second Timothy uh, 2 and 4. 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Now that's where reprove uh, means to, I ain't even got to pull it up, but it means to shame with, you know, without conviction. It means to shame, to expose, to bring to light. And that's why we do it with these guys. We're not, I'm not in it because I hate them. All of a sudden we hate them because we're telling them they're wrong. You're saying Yahweh Shah never worked miracles. Now you're saying ruddy means actually red. Now he's saying King David is actually a red man. Like, come on. 
These are weirdos, man. All that the scripture says, study that showed thyself approved. Teach what ye have been taught. See, these guys have caught, totally lost it, man. So anyway, I'm going to go to the Cloverdale translation of 1 Samuel 16 and 12. This Bible is of 1532. It says, Then sent he and caused him to be brought, and he was well colored with fair eyes, right? And of beautiful countenance. So wait a minute. What happened to red? It's one of those things where they've taken colored and they turned it into ruddy and then ultimately to red. Which ruddy just means a beautiful brownish complexion. Again, as I said before, there was no conflict, uh, at least right now, of we have to prove that he was a black man. That's what we have to do now. But understanding then, we had to prove that the Israelites were so-called black. It was already well known. So this is why we have to go into context because, of course, people who write the scriptures or universalize it is going to take it to make it fit their narrative. They're constantly going to do that. Or they're going to put words in there because of the English language. And then other scholars will take it when it says right here, he's uh, well, he's white and ruddy. Then other scholars will take it in their commentary, and then they'll say, "Okay, he had, he was a white man." And then you'll have another commentary, and then you'll have another translation. That's why you got to go into the Hebrew and go into the understanding of the words, right? So it says, "Then he sent he it caused him to be brought, and he was well colored." So Goliath was looking on this man as a young man of youth because he was it was unusual he may he may not look like a man of a full grown man of war what the hell would red have to do with them putting it in there right to explain his complexion <laughs> that proves it had nothing to do pretty much with complexion as far as being red the complexion it had to do with is basically him being healthy of healthy complexion or healthy glow or look to himself like a young man uh, uh, you know as the, the older woman like to say a young strapping man it's crazy man but anyway let's go some more translations I'm trying to make them quick you notice all this start happening with this group after this, I believe, Kyrie and Kanye thing, the heat coming down, and now they probably putting their hands up. Hey, it's not about the white man now. Anyway, the International Standard Version Bible says, so he went and brought him forth and brought him. He had a dark, healthy complexion. So I don't get red out of a dark, healthy complexion. Like Yahabasha had uh, a healthy complexion. David's line would have more likely had healthy complexions. A healthy complexion is not someone who's red. A healthy complexion would be protective from the sun. We would have some melanin. Now, it's not all about skin color now because you got our people who look white you got Edomites who, who are some of them are black now so we're not saying that but for the sake of the argument going back to that time yes that's what they were they were red all over like a hairy garment Genesis 25 and 25 that was Esau and then when you ha see after the colon it says healthy complexion with beautiful eyes and he was handsome this is all explaining what he looked like. Somehow Ruddy got thrown up in the mix. Right? That's what got thrown up in there. Maybe the scholars felt Ruddy was a reddish complexion. I don't know. That's how it got thrown up in there. But Ruddy really actually meant a healthy complexion. That's what Ruddy means. And to be have a healthy complexion 
you would have to have some melanin. Everybody knows it. Even white people know it. That's why they throw on suntan lotion. That's why they go in tanning booths and come back and say, look, I have a healthy complexion. Anyway, the Good News translation says, so Jesse sent for him and he was handsome, a healthy young man, and his eyes sparkled. Right? So did his eyes literally sparkle? It was just talking about his complexion and his countenance. The New Heart English Bible says, and he sent and brought him, and he was reddish brown. See where the confusion comes? He was reddish brown. See, if you are one of those guys that are, if you're an Edomite right now, right, and you look at that, you're going to take the best from the best that you can take and make it fit your narrative. You know that's what you'll do. But then when we go on and talk about Yahweh Shah's complexion or Song of Solomon, I am black, which I've never seen nobody turn black from having famine, right? And when the scripture says, because a lot of times in some cases when it says I am black or I'm dark, is, is going into what had happened. But the bottom line is we never had to make it about color because it was already known. So it's not even a fight really that to say the Jews was black, the Jews was black. The Lord, the Lord allowed that to be put in there so we can get back our identity. But through process of elimination, there's nobody who I've ever seen who was white, an Edomite, through famine or through the sun, turn black. Christian Standard Bible. So Jesse sent for him. He had beautiful eyes and a healthy complexion, a handsome appearance. So each time you read these different translations, these are set up by different scholars. So that you'll have one scholar say he was white and ruddy. And then people put it together and say, oh, see, he was a white and red man. When you look up the word white, it just means pure. And they'll say dark. Nobody's black. The so-called black. You look up that, means healthy. So how do we understand what a healthy complexion is? The majority of the population has melanin. Just what it is. Anyway, handsome, healthy young man. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. You know, and I just wanted to do the video on these guys. These guys have... Um, Went, went way too far. Uh, this guy, uh, I don't know his name, but this uh, this guy is, um, seems to me has completely took the bag. We've seen him slowly, slowly disintegrate or deteriorate from what he used to know and what he used to teach. That's all I have on that. Shalom.